Okay, you guys ready? Sure. Okay. I thought we were already rolling. We, I bet <laughs> I he is rolling, right? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> like, you bet your ass already dumb. fucking rolling. He isn't dumb. You um, using this for some B-roll. So I've been thinking about this tonight, um, thinking about talking to you guys, and I was like, what is my first question going to be? And I decided, I kept coming back to, how are you? That's a, that's a bit of a loaded question. Um, why don't you just take all of the emotions that you think someone can feel, and that's where we're at right now. Yeah. All of the emotions. Like there's happy and excited to play together again, happy and excited to be on stage together again terrified to be on stage together without our, our fucking brother uh, even though we know he's here he's, he's, he's here, he's always with us 100% but uh, I'm nervous uh, uh, every, every emotion you can possibly think man. but we had a good week we, uh, we played a lot together and uh, hung a lot together and uh, hung a lot with Roy Yeah. and Roy is Oof. fucking killing it Yes. He, he, uh, he's just being. He's a bad, bad motherfucker. He's a bad dude. motherfucker, yeah. man. He's bad wow. Motherfucker. Yeah. He's been rehearsing six hours a day for a month and a half. Yeah. No joke. Wow. No shit. Like, he is. He knows he's not the replacement because you can't replace the irreplaceable. Sure. Yeah. He's filling in. He's just helping us carry this torch for Ben. You know what I mean? And that's, that's his job. And <clears throat> he's such a brother, though, man. He's such a beautiful human being. He is. And I mean, he you know, we had a so very much. short list of people, and it was just like, nobody can sit on that kid that didn't respect Penny fully and vice right versa. Just not yeah. many and we, we nailed it. Fully. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was just like, it came out of nowhere. I actually went to Corey's show where he's playing. I was like, and that's kind of our kid be. And I, I was just like, what do you think about Roy? He's like, well, I'm going to do Slipknot, so, you know, hit him up. Hit him and Corey up, yeah. was so cool about it, you know. And uh, <clears throat> we did, and boom, here we are. You know, I mean, today, honestly, his birthday for me was a big, big benchmark yeah. for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Because there had been so much grief and so much mourning and stuff like that. And then I did that thing, just like shot that little Instagram video or whatever, like, you know what, everybody tissues away no crying no fucking sadness tomorrow you know because it was i shot the night before on this day and then he walked into his fucking birthday party there's a bunch of people sitting around fucking weeping crying and shit, like and shit yeah he'd fucking leave yeah he'd leave he would have been fucking so pissed off so it wasn't what he was mm -hmm. and <clears throat> so shannon and i i was like i kind of woke up and i kind of wanted to drink i'm like yeah i've been drinking I was like, man, I kind of want to drink. She was like, you can do whatever you want to do. She's like, I support you no matter what. She's like, why don't you go to the gym? Just get your head together. I'm like, you know what, I will. With the gym, listen to Pantera, listen to Damn Show, listen to Hell Yeah. In my band, too. And uh, listen to him, celebrating him like that while I lifted. And, you know, just, when I lift, it clears my mind. And just, uh, I feel good. And I went home, and I was like, I don't want to drink. I was like, why don't we go... What can we do? Like, what would Vinny do tonight? Like, Del Frisco's. He'd go to Del Frisco's. You know what I mean? Because he loved that place. Yeah, cool. And so that's what we did. So I booked a reservation. We went to Del Frisco's. And, they, and when I was booking the reservation, she's like, any kind of special event or anything tonight? And I was like, kind of yes and no. And she's like, what's that? And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, what's well, my friend's birthday that passed? They used to frequent your establishment very, very often. He loved your restaurant, you know, but he, you know, she know it is his birthday. Oh yeah, she knew him. And she's like, and the, I was like, is it you know, Vinny Paul? And she's like, she's like, oh yeah, we know Vinny, or whatever. And I was like, um, yeah, so today's his birthday, but he has passed. And she's like, yeah, we know, or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. And she's like, okay, well, just, just you and somebody else. I'm like, yeah, so Shannon and I would go, break bread, have a great meal. <clears throat> you know, the drink is still not on. Right. Loop at this point. Right. You're going to Del Fresco. Waiter comes up. He's like, I want a drink. I'm like, no, I think I'm just going to water. You know what I mean? Because I'm doing what I wanted to do for Vinny. Yeah. You know? And then uh, we ate. And um, 
we got up, and or before we got up, they fucking bring us out like a little dessert tray, or whatever, and said happy birthday, Benny Paul. Oh, that's And cool. it was just such a fucking emotional moment. That's cool. It was great though. Mm -hmm. I didn't like. I wasn't like sobbing in tears or anything like that. It wound me up a little bit mm -hmm. just because I saw his name and just you know it was awesome and I thought it was so awesome of them to do. Um, <clears throat> and then we went home and I woke up the next day and I looked at Shannon and I said, I was like, you know what, baby? And I was like, yesterday was the best day I've had in a long, long time because I chose to celebrate his life instead of mourn his loss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think you have to just open your hand and you have to let go of yeah. that. You know what I mean? We've done, we've all mourned and we've all grieved. But one thing I know <clears throat> that I do embrace now and since that day, the only thing I could do is be sad and mourn and grieve and stuff like that. But Vinny, he was so generous in so many levels. But one of the ways he was so generous, one of the ways that he was so generous that people don't even realize he was generous through his music. When do you ever listen to his music and that doesn't put a smile on you? Right, mm -hmm. yeah. For Brady and I, yeah. and, and you, yeah. you know, no doubt. Else, anybody no doubt. that knew him personally. Yeah. Think of all the memories you have with him. All the good times that we had. That's what I embrace now. I don't I don't hang on to the bad shit anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm yeah. over the suffering and I'm over it. It's like an infection. It's like yeah. a cancerous Same. thing, um, which is this weird juxtaposition because loss is emptiness too. So how am I so full of grief and feeling so empty at the same time. Yeah. That's what I don't get. It's you know grief. I mean? Grief is a weird. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an animal. Weird, yeah. I have, you know? I have moments still, but I, I'm definitely at the, the storytelling place now. Yeah. You know, like when it comes up and I'll start telling stories about, you know, yeah, you gotta things just, that happen. And, and you don't ever and, forget, but you just gotta move on. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, that, no yeah. He he would, you learn how be, to live with it is what would, it is. Yeah. He, yeah. Would be, he would be furious. With us, yeah. honestly, you know how he yeah. was, oh, totally, dude. Yeah. On his roomy list, straight up. And his roomy you, list. I'll tell you what, man. He is absolutely still here, yeah. all mm -hmm. over the freaking place. Right. Like I, 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 this is actually a great story. So, a couple of weeks after he passed, and we were all of us just there doing you know, moral mass, right? And I, I looked at Jess and I go, "I should get out of this fucking house, right?" And right. She's like, "Let's go see a movie." Like, all right, let's go. So we go to the theater. Huh? I don't know if you ever had a, if you ever had a chance when you were hanging with Vinny, if you ever did like an accent for mm -hmm. him. You know, he only, he only had one accent. <laughs> right. That he did uh -huh. for every, everybody. Right. Like, like even like someone from Jersey, it was the same fucking accent. No. It was like an Eastern block. Right. Like, like uh, you go over there and you'll hang out and you will be at the, it was like the only accent right. he could do. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> right? And he used to crack us up. And so we go to the theater and we get tickets. And we go up to the podium and hand the lady the tickets. Uh, she tears the tickets and she goes to direct us to the theater. And it's that fucking accent. She's like, your theater is uh, oh. theater two and to the back and to the left. And I just I stood there for a second. And I thank you. And I grabbed the tickets and I walked in with Jess. And I, we, I started laughing. And she's like, what? What? And I go, did you hear the accent? And she goes, I don't know. And I go, think about it and then she started laughing yeah, she wow. got it and it was like i was like hey buddy hey dude what's you know, up yeah just, just poking <laughs> hello his head Vinny. Up, saying, yeah. Poking his head up saying hi i'm like what is this show tonight for you guys like i know what it is for me i can imagine what it is for the fans celebration man yeah tonight we are a seven piece diamond and Vinny are here okay. i know it. i can feel it was always with us yeah Diamond was always with it Vinny really did actually teach us how to do this yeah through what he did for his brother he conditioned us to carry torches yeah for people right uh by what by all the, because he did it for his brother you know he had his mourning period you know two or three years obviously the circumstance of how he lost his brother was unbelievable beyond yeah what any like, of us could yeah. even talk yeah. about it. yeah no and dime just had a heart attack like yeah he did that would have been huge you know right. but that yeah. come on so he took that three or four years whatever he took off and 
finally he came back around. You know what I mean? Um, we've done that now. We finished our record. We've done it. Um, he taught us by coming back to music, his love, his true love. He, one of the reasons why he came back was to carry the torch for his brother, which I was totally fine with because his brother fucking taught yeah. me how to be a human, yeah. a good human. Yeah. You know, fucking have humility and be humble and be nice and talk to anyone. Never. Right. And just That's always cool. be a guy with a cool job. You right. know what I mean? Right. Don't be a fucking asshole. Right. You know? And uh, <clears throat> they, they, that he taught us how to be that way, you know, and, and to carry the torch. So for us to fucking go through knowing how much he conditioned us and showed us how to do that with Don, like what he did with Diamond, we all did it. You know, when we were all about it, because Don was a huge hero of mine. Yeah, Vinny was a huge hero of mine. And um, so I've been conditioned to do this. Right. He taught me how to carry the torch right. for someone. And I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to thank you, Vinny, for the training. You know, you taught me how to, you taught Brady and you taught Tony, you taught right. Kyle, you taught us all how to continue to allow a legacy to live yeah. even after the passing. Yeah. His legacy is still alive. His music is still there. His new record this one. is his new is his drumming. Wow. Uh, and, yeah. and I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's, maybe uh, if that fucking record didn't come out or we didn't get anything done or something like that, I mean, it might be different. Parts hadn't been done. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it would have so, been a whole know, different but, story. I mean, yeah, I made a promise to him you know, the day after he died. I sat on the bed by myself and I was like, I was like, Vinny, I could be so easy for me to open my hand and just like up and just walk away from this right now. I was like, I can't lay you down like that. This is yeah. your final music and I have to finish it. I went back in there, me and Kevin, and I wrote fucking six songs. And it was the most enormous undertaking I've ever in my life I had to deal with. I dealt with losing my grandmother, but I didn't right. have to go and work, you know, on her work. So I was fourth and fifth guessing myself all the time. I'm just like, nothing was good enough. It was a brutal time. But I got done, and I'm like, yeah, I remember seeing you. Yeah, you, well, you came, and I, came, yeah, came yeah, we down. were, yeah, we were talking, and you were about to go in yeah, and yeah. get some stuff done, and yeah. it was, it was a daunting for yeah. you. I Kevin guess. Churko, man. yeah, Churko, Churko, yeah. fucking, just absolutely, just, I mean, he really, really, uh, Churko's fucking amazing. He's amazing, yeah. and but one of the, yeah. one of the best things about yeah. him, of course, one of the best things about him is his which I couldn't have done this probably with any other producer, is his fucking patience. Yeah. He is so he's very patient. And he's I good mean, about bringing the best out of you. You know, what you do, yeah. like, he wants you to be you, and he pulls the best of that out yeah. of you, and he's very patient about getting He's a good dude. So, but I mean, with me, it was like, patience to the extreme. Sure. Like, I'm just sitting back, no. like, trying to fucking, <laughs> what am I gonna say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where am I? Like, where, where and, am I? And you're dealing with the grief like that. Yeah. So it's not like you're removed a year buried, or later or whatever. Yeah, you're right buried, in it. Yeah. Yeah. After the services five yeah. days later, I was back in the studio. Yeah. Uh, I know I got to let you guys go. So one more real quick question. I know the new album's coming. Welcome home is going to be the single. Is that is that what we're is that coming soon? In the next yeah, couple yeah. days. Monday. Yeah. 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 Okay. For everybody. Yeah. The seventeenth. It's coming. Be, I thought it was yeah. Thirteenth. No, I think it's the seventeenth. But yeah, but great um, I can't wait for everybody to hear it because it's it's yes. really good. Um, what's next? Are you guys gonna are you gonna tour with this record? What are you gonna do? That's, that's, that's Still in discussions? Okay, that's you are. Oh, we have to. Yeah. Have okay. To to good. That's what we want to hear. Let's you guys gonna take it out. Let's get through tonight. <laughs> Dude, I heard the sound check. Wow. I went up to the crowd. I was telling Christian. I went up to the crowd to do. So, I had to get somebody their tickets, and I go, and I saw the crowd sitting there. I go, you guys are in for a fucking treat tonight. And they were like, oh, like, oh, man, you guys are sounding great. I hope I didn't sing too much. You're good. <laughs> Blew my fucking it's all voice good. out. good. Thank you. Hell yeah, tonight, House of Blues. Right on. Thank you, guys. Love Thank you, guys. you for your time. Yeah, we love Thank you, Carl. That's it, man. Thank you, Carl. Right on. Awesome.